Hey guys, so today I have an exciting video that I've been meaning to record for a while now. Um, and it's just, I was looking at old videos of mine and I realized uh, that I could have a very good visual representation of how celiac affected me back when I didn't know when I was eating gluten, uh, which is a protein found in wheat, rye, and barley. Um, so essentially celiac disease, your body goes into overdrive trying to attack the gluten as though it's like some kind of virus and it all happens in your intestines and it causes a lot of damage makes you unable to absorb nutrients um, but I don't want to get too much into it I am I was told once uh, you know how did you live so long with it if it can be so damaging and if it's so um, so bad and this is really my response to that, really. Uh, I've been thinking of making this video since then. It's just, it was your normal, you know? If that's your normal, you don't think about there must be something wrong. You do go to the doctors and they say there's nothing wrong with you. So you just kind of deal with it and you sleep 12 hours a day for some celiacs. Uh, some celiacs don't even have any blatant symptoms. Um, so. Please, if you want to know more, uh, go research on your own. I'm no scientist. I don't want to give misinformation. Um, but this is just my experience. So this first video is just showing how tired I was and how exhausted I was. And just me trying my best and just losing energy out of nowhere. So let's jump in the video. <laughs> So as you can see from that video, I was really tired. I was acting as though I had been dancing for hours. Um, and that was just like, what, 20 seconds? I'm not sure. Um, but you can even see that my balance was off. And I mean, I guess it makes sense because I was losing weight at that time at an extreme amount. Um, but essentially that day, hey, I, I just, I was just not feeling it. And I was losing my balance hard with spinning. Um, and if you watch my dances nowadays, you'll see that I'm quite good at keeping my balance. Um, I mean, it happens, but I was almost like stumbling drunkenly. Um, so, you know, that can kind of show you how it was affecting me back then. Um, now that I've cut weed out of my diet, um, you know, I've got all that energy back. So. Um, the next video uh, is from the same one, um, but it's when I'm just like, okay, that's it, I'm done. And uh, you'll see just how quickly I completely ran out of energy. Like, it was just sudden, and it would happen to me all throughout the day where I'd just be like, okay, I'm I just need a nap. <laughs> That is so hard for me to watch. Um, but uh, yeah, so the next two videos I'm going to show you, or clips of videos, was taped on the same day within like 20 seconds. It's part of the same video, but I don't want to bore you by having the full video um, of me messing up. Um, but the first one is me just spontaneously completely running out of energy, 100%, just stopping all of a sudden in mid-dance and then continuing trying to tap myself up to keep going. Um, then the next clip I have is me actually just almost falling from pure exhaustion. It looks like I'm slipped, uh, but I didn't actually slip. I was just like tired and I had maybe done two tries before this. So I did maybe 10 minutes of exercise. So this is, I think, very accurate about you know, just how much energy we lack when we're eating wheat on a daily basis. Or even if we have a bit of wheat by accident, we just kind of get floored for a week and can't move. Because we're no longer used to having so little energy. Um, our bodies are just like, we need to heal. 
like super heal time. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this next video because it makes me cringe. It makes me feel like why didn't I ask the doctor? But I mean, I know I had, and they just said, well, you're low on vitamins or you, you're not eating enough um, or some kind of excuse to not further testing. So um, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> I decided, okay, I'm going to retire, I'm going to do some tomorrow instead. Um, so it's really hard to tell because I don't have very good graphics on the camera I recorded with and the editing software I use, um, but I did actually lose weight between the two, which is horrifying. The dress is a little bit looser on me uh, than it was the day before, and that's just one day. And that is absolutely terrifying. Um, I was 120 when I was in high school, 115, 120, and then I dropped to under 100 by the end of this, um, which is just crazy. I think I was 115, 120 uh, when I moved into this apartment and started doing my dancing again. And somewhere within six months to a year, I lost that much weight and I mean this is about all the exercise I did was like four minutes to maybe 15 minutes on a good day of exercise and that was it so you know <laughs> a little scary right <laughs> um, so this next clip um, is just to show just how tired I was getting um, yeah it's still the same costume um, still working on the same dances um, because I was stubborn and I was making it for my friend's birthday. <laughs> So the part where I do the splits was totally unplanned. It was just like, I'm exhausted. I need a snap break. What can I do? Um, and that's what I decided to do. Um, so my next dance, uh, it shows just how fast I lost my energy. I was full of energy and then just boom, nothing. I just flatlined. I completely just stopped dancing, um, which happened a lot. So let's dive right in. <laughs> So when I just stopped, it just felt like I had been running an endless marathon of like four kilometers or something. I was just wiped out. Um, the next one I want to show you guys is it was unplanned to lie down. I literally was like, can I make it look like I'm lying down for part of the dance? Um, and I end up so exhausted, I just hit my head on the mirror. And then I keep trying to keep finding energy to keep on dancing and struggling. Um, obviously, I ended it at that point. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just kind of really want you guys to see just how quickly it affected me and just how how much it had an impact on my life because so it wasn't just dancing it was things like reading or you know just anything I would just feel so tired or I, I would just feel like I need a nap after an hour doing pretty much nothing um so yeah enjoy <laughs>
So the next video I'm going to show you, I never actually put online. I didn't like how it looked. I didn't like it. Um, but I thought I would share a little clip from it t today. Um, just showing just how just exhausted I was. So enjoy! <laughs> probably see why I did not actually make a full video of that um but yeah I was tired just from running in place and I wasn't even doing all that much and it was my first try um you can also see just how skinny I was like that was on earthly skinny um uh the next videos I'm going to show you are just comparison from when I first started making my youtube videos to one of the last ones I made to kind of show just a side profile of just how much weight I lost in such a short period of time. So I hope you enjoyed that, a uh, little look-see into what it's like with celiac disease, for me anyways. Um, so that's just a visual representation uh, just for the side effect of being tired. There's tons of other, hundreds of others um, that people can have, which is why it goes so underdiagnosed. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I could share this with you guys. I've been meaning to do this for well over a year. Um, but I just haven't had the courage and I wasn't ready to talk about it yet. So if you enjoyed this video, I can talk a little bit more about my journey with it. It definitely isn't just exhaustion, um, but I just thought that the video representation could give you kind of just a window into the world. Um, so yeah, please subscribe, keep watching my dance videos, and let me know what you think. Bye!